Welcome back to our chess strategy series. In today's video, we're going to explore the essential principles that govern the middle game in chess. The middle game is a critical phase where players transition from the opening to the end game, and understanding these principles can greatly enhance your strategic decision making. So, let's delve into the fundamental middle game principles in chess. Part 1 Centralization the first principle of the middle game is centralization. It involves placing your pieces on central squares, such as d4, d5, e4, and e5. Centralized pieces have greater control over the board, access to more squares, and increased potential for attacking opportunities. When planning your moves, consider ways to centralize your knights, bishops, rooks, and queen, as this will strengthen your position and create possibilities for tactical combinations. Part 2. King Safety Another crucial principle is ensuring the safety of your king during the middle game. This involves castle early to safeguard your king and connect the rooks. It's essential to evaluate the safety of your king and take appropriate measures to prevent potential threats. Be cautious about leaving your king in the center when the position becomes open or when tactical possibilities arise. Keeping your king safe provides a solid foundation for launching attacks or defending against your opponent's threats. Part 3. Peace Coordination Effective peace coordination is a key principle in the middle game. Coordinating your pieces means ensuring they work harmoniously together to support each other and create threats. Look for ways to develop your pieces to active squares, establish strong outposts, and connect your rooks along open files. Peace coordination allows for efficient defense, control of key squares, and the creation of tactical opportunities. Part 4. Dynamic Pawn Structure The middle game often involves dynamic changes in pawn structure. Understanding the impact of pawn breaks and pawn structure transformations is crucial. Evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of pawn breaks, such as advancing pawns to create weaknesses in your opponent's position or opening lines for your pieces. Be aware of the potential consequences of pawn structure changes and consider their long-term implications on piece mobility and king safety. Part 5. Planning and Prophylaxis Planning and prophylaxis are vital principles in the middle game. Formulating a clear plan helps guide your strategic decisions and gives direction to your moves. Identify imbalances in the position, weaknesses in your opponent's camp, and potential targets for your attacks. Additionally, employing prophylactic thinking helps anticipate and prevent your opponent's threats. Consider moves that neutralize their ideas and fortify your position. Conclusion By focusing on centralization, king safety, peace coordination, dynamic pawn structure, planning, and prophylaxis, you'll have a solid foundation for making strategic decisions in the middle game. Remember to practice these principles in your games, analyze master games to gain insights, and continue studying the game of chess. If you enjoyed this video about middle game chess principles, stay tuned for more fantastically free learning resources. Comment below what you'd like to know more about.